Hello, faithful Whirlpool viewer. Just a quick reminder that in order to keep the Whirlpool financially viable for the foreseeable future, we've begun incorporating advertising into the show. Rest assured, we've gone to great lengths to ensure that only godly advertisers will be featured and that the ad breaks themselves will be as unintrusive as possible. Thank you for your support and your understanding, and God bless you. Welcome back to The Whirlpool, where fibs and fabrications are pulled under and drowned. I'm Michael Worley. Know what gets a bum rap lately, as the irreverent hellbound kids would say? Ownership. Cultural Marxists spreading their vile propaganda would have you believe you don't have the right to own your own toothbrush. But this attitude, like so much of what goes on in the world today, is simply not biblical. We are made in the image of God. That gives us the right to own things, just as God owns us. There is an old saying that we do not own our bodies, we merely rent them. And that is true. What most of you probably don't realize is that the rent we owe is our immortal soul. The only question is to whom will you pay that rent? To our Heavenly Father or to Satan? For instance, abortion. If you aren't moved by the obscure philosophical argument that it's wrong to murder children, try something a bit simpler. An expecting mother's child does not belong to her, it belongs to God, just as she herself belongs to God. What gives her the right to damage God's property, particularly when she herself is also God's property? I might as well ask, what would give my pen the right to damage my uh, headband? If God wants to force her to carry the child to term and give birth, that is God's prerogative as the omnipotent creator of the universe. God has the power, God decides what happens, and it's not for us to say it should have been otherwise. Might makes right. Sadly, many people today are no longer taught this basic principle of morality. For godly news and talk, keep your radio dialed to WOTC 1700 AM, the voice of the one true church and the home of the Father Halber Show. Tune in tomorrow at noon to hear Father Halber and his special guest, Cardinal Noah Worley. That's tomorrow at noon on WOTC 1700. Or how about slavery? Is it wrong for a man to claim ownership of another man? Yes, technically. But is it wrong because a man should never be treated like property? No. All men are indeed created equal to each other. We are all equally inferior in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. Women are subservient, but also technically created in the image of God, which is why we may treat them as employees, but not as slaves. But that does not mean it is always wrong for anyone to treat a human being like property. We may not enslave each other because we are all equal, but if some of us were actually superior to others, it would be a different story altogether. The mistake my ancestors made when they enslaved Africans was not their treatment of the slaves. No, their mistake was their hubris, which prevented them from realizing that they were no less inferior in the eyes of God. If white people were truly superior to black people, there would have been no problem. Just like when our Heavenly Father enslaves us. And by the way, just in case any of you liberals out there think I'm racist for saying that, I shared this argument with my black friend Arthur the other day, and he offered no valid objections. He did say something about slavery being an affront to human dignity, but from God's perspective, there is no such thing as human dignity, and it is only God's perspective that counts, because God is in charge. God owns us, therefore he makes the rules by which we must live or suffer the consequences. That does mean no slaves, unfortunately, but it also means no abortions, no homosexuality, and no divorces, a fact which my so-called ex-wife and her meddling alimony attorney still refuse to accept. But that's fine. I continue to honor our marriage vows, even if she does not. And eventually, she'll get her wish. Our marriage will end someday.
when she dies and goes to hell. For the Whirlpool, I'm Michael Worley.